Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Q Sports International, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the finals of the 2015 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship. We're coming to you live from the Predator Arena here at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas, the home of the U.S. Open 8 and 10 ball and the home of the BCA Pool League's National 8-Ball Championship. This event is sponsored by Predator, the official cue of the U.S. Opens, Kamui, the official tip, and Omega Billiards, our official store here at the U.S. Open Championships for 2015. I'd also like to express our gratitude to our host hotel here, the Rio, for the third consecutive year, along with our associate sponsors, Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis Cloth, Cyclop Pool Balls, The Magic Rack, and Bad Boys Billiard Productions. On behalf of all our great champions and all our spectators, thank you very much for lo to those companies for their support of CSI events. Well, we've come as far as we can. 87 players began. There are two players left. They're going to play one race to 11 games to decide the 2015 U.S. Open 8-Ball Champion. It's now my pleasure to introduce our two competitors. Undefeated so far from Providence, Rhode Island, this gentleman's a two-time member of Team USA's Moscone Cup. He's a former Ultima 10-ball champion. He's also a former World Summit of Pool champion. He's sponsored by OBQs, Snooker's Bar and Grill in Providence, Rhode Island, the Kings of Vapor, and Chalk Cube. Would you kindly welcome Mike DeShane? Thank you so very kindly. His opponent from Beast League, Surigao del Sur in the Republic of the Philippines, He's a two-time U.S. Open one-pocket champion. He's a former World Nine-Ball champion. He holds a Derby City Nine-Ball title, and he's a former WPA Player of the Year. Sponsored by Tiger Products and Bugsy Promotions, ladies and gentlemen, it's RoboCop, Dennis Orcuyo. <laughs> gentlemen, good luck to both of you. It's now my pleasure to turn it over to our commentary team, Jay Helfert and Robert Cotton LeBlanc. Take it away, guys. Kenny, boy, that was a good introduction, my man. Ken, Kenny's the man. What can I tell you? You're getting in stroke, Ken. It's, it's too bad. It's ending, man. He stays in stroke. You're hitting him good right now. <laughs> Don't leave us, Ken. Don't leave us, Ken. There might be another match for you to introduce. <laughs> He's laughing. No. no, you started this match with a bang. You got everybody riled up, and that's a good thing. <laughs> hey, Kenny, listen, you know, while you're standing here, thank you so much. We had a great week, had a good time. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. I always have fun with you, my man. All right, buddy. It's too bad you can't go up to the room and watch it now. I, yeah. We have a problem in-house here where the, the stream is not going to the rooms. It's been going to the rooms for the last 10 days, and today it's not working for it's some reason. It's not working in the rooms right now? Yeah, for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they'll get it fixed. That's kind of crazy. And it's too bad because these are the best matches. Listen, if you're in the room, won't you just come down here and watch it live? There you go. Hey, listen, if you're up in the room, come on down. That's what Bobby said. Yeah. We got room for you. Yeah. Dennis is meanwhile laboring over this rack. And he's packing up to go. Did his job. Meanwhile, Dennis is finally ready to break these balls. He broke so he, that was the best he broke in the match that last that last match. The yeah. best he broke all week. I mean, he did. He did. Can he keep doing it? That's the thing. Oh, he's got it down now, Jay. He's hitting that ball square. Boy, balls are going right. Look at this. He just dropped the eight ball. The eight's going to spot up. Here it comes. John Lehman to put that eight ball up there. He can either re-break or spot it, right? I think you're going to spot it. I, th I mean, 
I wouldn't want to re-break because you might not make a ball. I think that would be a cardinal error to uh, if the cue balls, as long as there's balls in play. I mean, it's a little bit of a cluster here, but Dennis has handled more difficult racks than this today. He went right through Rodney. I like this shot. Yeah, I like this shot here. Good shot. Can Dennis maintain that momentum that he had in the last match with Rodney Morris? This is it, the final match. Long race to 11 here. All right, I'm going to predict the score. I'm going to say it's going to be 11 to 8. Who's going to win? I ain't telling you. Oh, okay. I see. I see Dennis, how you are. Dennis, I think. Okay. I'm picking Dennis 11-8. Right. That's my pick. Okay, good call. Good call. Mike the Shame, meanwhile, is undefeated in this tournament. Uh, he is, huh? Yeah. Dennis has had to play, play twice as many matches to get to this point. Straight in on the 10. No, no, no. Oh, that baby. Wow. He slowed roll that one a little bit too much there. That ball just fell in. Yeah. You got to be careful when you slow roll these balls. What? What? You leaving tomorrow, right, Jay? What's I'm it? leaving tomorrow. What time are you going? Or are you uh, I got a fly. I got a 1:30 flight. Oh, you're flying back. Yeah, I'm getting out of here in the morning. I'll be leaving here. Leaving the hotel probably by noon. Mm -hmm. You pissed me off, you know that, don't you? I'm sorry, Bobby. Can I make it up to you somehow? Leaving me here by myself. Well, it got, I got a very important event in L.A. tomorrow that I, I must oh, yeah, be at. Oh, yeah, you can't miss your sister's yeah. deal. Yeah. But fortunately, I got to be here for, for 10 days of it. Mm-hmm. Spoke to Ozzy before this match, Ozzy Reynolds, the general manager in charge of all the CSI events, and he's very pleased with the events and the uh, particularly the stream and the coverage. And I'm, I'm glad. It, you yeah. Know, he says we did a good job. Look out, he he look hit out this here. ball 90 miles an hour. Well, he got fortunate there. Yeah, exactly. He could have been stuck right behind it. I think he's going to he's gonna go up and down. He's going to go a little inside, a little top left. Get that 14? No, he's shooting a 10. I mean, after the after the 10. No, then okay. the 12. Is that the 12 there next to the? Next to the 6. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, it is the 12. You thought that was a 14. Well, I can't. Could be. Turn that monitor a little bit this way. Would you do that? Well, it's perfect for me. <laughs> Thank you oh, very there we much. Go. Thank you very much. Look at this. Uh oh, the twelve just got tied up. How did he, how did he, run, how did he run into that ball? He, I'm not sure, but because he cut the ball, he should have hit it fuller. Well, let me tell you something. The angle he's got on this 14 is he may be able to go two rails Behind into it. it, into it, yeah. yeah, and thin it. Well, he's got to hit it. We know that. If he doesn't hit it. He's, he's, he's in might, trouble. He's in big he's trouble. He's afraid to hit the seven. Well, let's see how he's good he controls. Let's get, see how good he controls yeah. the cue ball right here. I ain't saying nothing. Well, let him do the shooting. That's right. Mum's the words. See what he does. We both agree he's in trouble right now. But it looks like he's got an angle where he can come out and bump that ball. He's afraid of hitting the seven. That's what he's looking at. Mm -hmm. He's looking at how can he get there. I don't think the seven's necessarily no. in his way. Well, well, no, ooh, he what's he doing? Drawing into these balls? No, he can't do that. The eight's in the way. I think you got to go for Ooh, he is he trying might. to drum in these balls. Draw off the eight into the ball? I don't know. I, I think you got to go forward two rails and try to hit him oh, that Oh, yeah, way. I think so. I agree with you. Good call, Jay. See, hey, mum's not the word anymore, right, Bobby? Good call, Jay. You're talking. 
Yeah, here we go. Now he's got it. Well, I see it, but he's got to execute it. He's got the hard job. He missed him. He missed it. I can't believe he hit him to start with. Now what? Now what do you do from here? Get the rack and just hand it eliminate to, hand all it to this, Mike Deschamps. Eliminate Deschamps. everything else. I like to be shooting here. I'll lay 100 to 1. Well, you know, what about forcing that ball? Yeah, force foul and try to make the ball slide down past the 7. There is a shot he there. He actually like straight. Yeah, and it might double kiss anyway. Straight on. He's got to draw his ball. Yeah, you got to you got to draw it and hit on top of the ball. It's possible. It's like a trick shot. Watch this one. It's close. That draws rock. See, it did double kiss. Hey, I called another one. It was go. It was going towards was, the pocket. Yeah. It might have been high. I don't know, but anyway. That that's like the first error we've seen from Dennis Arculio in the last two hours. Yeah. This should be Mike's game. Eleven thousand first place, seven thousand second, so there's an extra four thousand on the line here. I don't see any problem for Mike. I'd shoot the one. Then the yeah, six. I like, yeah, I like the one too, but then the one, then the six. I yeah, this I don't know what he's doing here. But he's all right, but you know. You can do it either way, but I'm telling you, the one six would have been the way to go, wouldn't it, Jay? You well, think? that's I would have gone the same way, but again, it's it's what they decide and yeah. what they see. But I wanted to do it the other way. Well, let's. I'll go down and tell them. <laughs> see, hey, Mike, we're not happy with what you I chose here. Yeah. I'm not sure why he left the cue ball so far from that ball. He could have certainly got up closer, but anyway. Is he going real first? No, he had came around that one. He's uh, he's running out backwards. I'll tell you what, he's making it tough on himself, that's for sure. Fortunately, he's not jacked he up over the one. Really been in trouble. Yeah, if, he'd, if that cue ball would have stopped an inch sooner, he'd have had a real problem. Just roll this ball in, come across the table. Yeah. Yeah, he got he got out. Yeah, he he, he struggled a little bit, but he's going to get this first rack. This guy is a deadly shooter. If he can see the ball. Yeah, good shot. Nice uh, shot. I I got a feeling this is going to be a real close match. It's just like this first game set the tone. Uh huh. Funny thing about Dennis, and I've seen this many times, Bobby, when he starts having a problem, it seems to always magnify. You know, it's yeah, it's shocking. he he lets things bother him. He still lets things bother him sometimes. I mean, one game is not enough to you know alter yeah. his mood that much, but let it happen a couple times, and he'll get a little frustrated. He does get a little frustrated. Yeah. See that 11 in the middle there? It's a race to 11. Got a long way to go, folks. Make sure you got a comfortable seat. This is should be two to two and a half hours of pool. Quit saying that. Okay. <laughs> an hour to no, an I hour. Love, I love, I'm enjoying watching. Hey, we were lucky that last that last match didn't last an hour. It's like 45 minutes I know, long. That was quick. Yeah. Mike DeShane kind of rose to national prominence with his starring role, co-starring role, on The Hustlers on True TV. They had 10 episodes. But those 10, 10 episodes aired a total of 30 times because they were all shown three times. Uh, oh, really? Yep. That repeat viewing is what gets you even an even larger audience. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, it appears as if it's going to be a one-season show. 
but even in the course of one season and those 30 appearances, uh, Mike is a really high profile in the pool world now. But he's been, he's been a top pro player for like the last five years. He's one of the dominant players in the Northeast, along with Jason Shaw, Mika Eminen. He's got some, once again, the cue ball gets kicked towards the end rail, but Look at nice this. spread. And he got no shot on the strike, but the solids go. Oh, yeah, the solids are good here, Jay, aren't they? Yeah, he's going to have to shoot that two in the side, I think, his opening shot. He's got a chance to take a two to nothing lead. Put a little pressure on Dennis. He's playing with that OBQ. Nicely done. Just shoot the three up in the end, roll forward. Not that far. You know, if you stay in line, Bobby, it, you make it look easy. Uh huh. You know, the one four here can cause a little bit of a problem. I don't know what he's going to shoot next. Probably the six, but I don't know if he can move these balls or what. Yeah, they they don't have pockets, do they? Right now. No. Is he playing a combination here? No, he's shooting the four. Oh, the four does go. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then draw back and shoot the one in the six. Yeah, he's drawing. Get them all in the side pocket, right? Shooting the one next. Get them yeah. all in the side. There you go. That that'll work. That will work. Mm -hmm. This five's a key ball. He's shooting stop. He's going around the table here at a couple of rails. No, he no, inside. Inside, yeah. Couldn't see the angle. Yeah, once Mike gets all those balls out in the open, he he wastes little time as well. He has a unique method of chalking his It drives tip. me crazy. <laughs> I mean, he really works on it. Holds, and he holds, look how he holds it right to the end. Like he's like a snooker player or something. Yeah. I oh, caught myself chalking like that like he, about a week he, or two ago. Yeah, he really chalks the tip. Like over, wow, he almost got caught on the point there. But he's all right. This was going to be two to nothing. That didn't take long. Not at all. Great final match. The last time I saw these guys in a similar situation was at last year's U.S. Open. It was a match uh, for third and fourth place. And a uh, lot of discussion about... Uh, the break and I had to. There's <laughs> Tony. Look, Tony on the screen. There's Tony Robles. He's the man that we've created the Robles Sportsmanship Award in honor of. He's considered one of the real fine sportsmen yeah, in the game nice today. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah. I wish I was as nice as him. <laughs> I you do. Are, Bob, Bobby, you no, are I'm as not, nice no, as him. No, I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Don't fight me on that, man. <laughs> no, you're a good guy, Bobby. Uh, hey, listen. I wish we. I think all of us wish we were. We we had the even disposition of Tony Robles. My new thing is to be tender. I'm be. I'm. I've been working on that oh, lately. Oh, you've been tender. <laughs> you know. That's my new thing. Be tender. <laughs> hey, it's hard to do. Because I want to uh, get up. Sometimes I want to get up somebody's face. You know, I'm mean? like, dude. Uh, Bobby, you're getting too old for that stuff. <laughs> I man. know. Uh, yep. Well, you know, there's a great saying that Abraham Lincoln had. I never forgot it. I don't know if you ever heard it. What? That's best way to defeat your enemy is make him your friend. Yeah. You ever heard that one? Yeah. That's a good one. You know, you're funny telling me, you know, about being that because I know you sh you're a scrappy little thing. Hey, you got, easy. You easy. got a reputation. <laughs> no, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but I I'm know. No I'm, yeah. I'm one of the good guys now. Oh, don't you, you are, know but, that? Yeah, Forget I about it. I know you are, that. but you, and, hold, uh, you hold your own at one time. 
Uh, well, Bobby, we had to. <laughs> we had to. Yep. I mean, I've been in a few spots where people wanted to take the money back, and I said, no, nah, ain't going to happen. I know. I told one, uh, one guy, I told one guy once, he was a tough guy, too. He's he was, he's going to kick my ass and take the money. I said, you not only have to beat me up, you're going to have to eat me. And he yeah. started laughing. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I, I said, you have, I said yeah. you might kick my ass. I said, but you're going to have to eat me, too. <laughs> I had a guy jump on me at the House of Billiards in Santa Monica. He's we're fighting out in the street Come over twenty dollars, and it's not long wow. ago, like maybe twenty years ago. Yeah. And the guy says, "Well, what can we do to stop this fight?" And the guy says, "Well, make him give my twenty back, and we'll quit." I said, "Dude, we can fight till we die." So I'm not giving you that twenty dollars back. Over twenty dollars. Yeah. Well, listen. I said, I, I, I had a guy. I had a guy chase me out of a bar over a three dollar game of eight ball with a knife. He had a knife. Yeah. He wanted. He wanted to cut my throat for three dollars. I beat him out of twelve bucks. But I wouldn't get. He won the money back. But you, you, you I, 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 no, I went. I ran for it. I ran out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> I got away. <laughs> I escaped. Hey, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> you still got three dollars. Yeah, I got twelve. That's I got. Right. I won twelve dollars, man. I wasn't giving that money back. No way. I worked hard for it. I made an honest living as a pool player when I was young. <laughs> anyway, Dennis needs a good break here. He needs a good break here. He's been breaking them good. You remind me, I got one more good saying for you. What's that? For everybody out there. Wait, this way, this way. Let's see. Uh oh, look at look at that. That was a bad burn. He hit him half he didn't speed. Hit, yeah, he didn't hit those balls good at all. They're still all clustered up table here. I don't know what he's gonna do here, Jay. Look at these balls. He hit him. He he hit him half speed. Maybe he's afraid of scratching or something. I don't know what. There was a guy, very. Famous gangster used to hang around in Hollywood named Lenny Moore. You ever heard of Lenny I know Moore? Him. Yeah, yeah. I knew, didn't know him. I knew of but, him. But he was a smart guy. And he told me something once. He said, it doesn't cost you anything to be nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. it doesn't cost you any money to be nice. And then he had one more good saying. I remember all these because they, they, these were smart guys. What's he shooting here? The four in the side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit that ball. He better hit that ball or he ain't going to like it. I don't know. He may have to shoot this one in the side, too. If he does, he's going to rearrange the furniture. No, he's shooting a five. But yeah, he, he yeah, he's, he's changing going. things. He, he, well, he needs to break some balls out here. That's not bad. Ooh, yeah, he's okay. He's all right. I wonder if he could shoot the six past the three. That would have been nah, You was reading my mind. No, it doesn't go. Would that have been really nice if that ball would have gone? That's what he's looking at. I'll tell you, he's got maybe half a pocket because he's leaning down, taking a good look. Well, right so now would be a great time to move that six, too, if he could possibly. No, I don't think he can get there, Jay. Oh, well, he's going to shoot this seven ball. Shoot, he just, he's in. It's a tough rack here. Shoot, I'm telling you. This is huge for Mike if he can get out three to nothing. Oh, well, yeah. maybe he'll play the combination. Let's see. That would be the he has. That would be the right time. Because if he makes it, he wins from here. Because if he don't get that six out now, I don't know how he's gonna ever get it out. Did he call the combination? I don't know. I didn't hear him say anything. Maybe. It, yeah. Wow, he swished it. And then he's gonna shoot the deuce, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, he's gonna shot, shoot the two up table. That was a nice shot there. Sure those was. balls were out in the open. That was that ball wasn't hanging in the pocket by any means. Maybe he's gonna he shoot this one and give himself a little distance on the, on the, the on two. The deuce, yeah, yeah. And so he's not quite so close. Yeah, he's good now. It's a little easier shot like this. Can you roll up and shoot the six next in the Yeah. In the side than the one yeah, down here? Right. Or you can shoot the one in the side. He's got two pockets for the one. He wants to roll up past the 10 ball here, mm -hmm. so he's got to put a little stroke on the ball. He got there. Right on the money, and I draw back into the 15. 14. That'll work. Yep. Yep. And Dennis has got a real dangerous opponent right here. This is a guy that wants to win. Boy, that would really put a capper on his TV appearances. 
I'm gonna Probably. get his autograph in a minute when he mm -hmm. quit. Uh oh. He's okay. You know, he might go the rail here and come in and bump the Yeah, exactly. The guy chalks his cue. He holds the end of the cue like that. I mean, he chalks it like he's using a paintbrush or something. I don't know, man. He really works it. But, yeah, it's, he's good. good. He's good. Yeah. It's all Mike DeShane so far. And he's breaking now. He's breaking next. That's right. Dennis broke them balls weak, didn't he? Like I, don't half know, speed. I, I don't know what he did there. I don't know what don't he know did there. That was his that. worst break of the day. Yeah, he's been breaking them so good, like, for the whole last couple of matches. So I'll continue with our little story. Oh, we're going to get a commercial. Hold on. Bobby just said, those are good cues. I said, I know. I mean, they've sold something like a million Predator shafts. I mean, every the, every pro I know of has played with Predator shafts at one time or I've another. I've sold a bunch of those cues. Yeah, from, And my ones running them leagues, everybody played with one. So, Bobby, did you like my last saying from Lenny Moore? doesn't cost you anything to be nice. That's so true. Too, That's man. a Lenny. Now, here's another good one. And this, he told me this after somebody was acting like a fool and – I got mad and got upset, and I wanted to fight. It didn't. It didn't happen. But he said, he said, just because somebody else is being an asshole doesn't mean you have to be one too. Yeah. How about that? What a great line. This was a smart guy. Wow, his break's working, isn't it? Look at this. Look at his this. break is working. I don't know what he's going to do here, though. Well, he'll probably shoot that. Then what is that? The ten ball up there or twelve? Twelve. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot that one you need first. To be, you mean tilt the monitor some more? Can you see it really? What? Can you, the monitor? You going to need to move it a little bit more? No, no, it's okay. Right. Can you move it closer to me? <laughs> I'm okay, Bobby. Yeah. I'm a little blind. I'm a little bit deaf, dumb, and blind. Other than that, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, you can see. Listen, this is. I love this when they do those close-ups with it. You can shoot the 11. He's got room to shoot it. He be, I think he better shoot it right now. Why not shoot it now? Yeah, there you go, Mike. No, he's seems to be intent. You know what I might do 14. here? I, man, yeah. I ain't going to. Never mind. I might shoot the 9 here and try to go into the 13. No, and leave the – or he, he needs to – he needs to shoot the 9 here or the 15. He needs to move 13 now. You don't think he could shoot the 11? No, he needs to leave those balls for safety valves just in case it, something gets funny. I don't know if he needs them both, though. Anyway, yeah, he is going to shoot the 11. Yeah. Maybe he's just trying to get closer to these balls to shoot this ball. Yeah, back. exactly. Get a little better angle. And he did. And he did. I think he got a worse angle. Really? Yeah, he's got What's that ball by the pack there? Is that the 13? 13. Yeah, okay. He's going to have to do something with that one pretty soon. He can just split them. It goes right to the rail, and hopefully the nines is insurance. Yeah. Right now, this shot. High Hit right. That. Hmm. I don't know about that. That was tough, you know. Why did he Well, he's going to use the nine. He's going to use the nine to break them, but. Well, what good, what good is, what's his end? That's, he should, if he do, if he'd have split them balls. Right there. The 13 goes to the yeah, rail. Exactly. The nines, exactly. The nines are well, I agree with you. I don't know why, Bobby, but when we've got this point of view up here, it's a lot easier. Does this ball go? I, I don't, I'm not sure what he's doing with the 13. Maybe he's playing it off the five. Maybe the 13 goes past those balls through that little opening. I don't I know. Don't know. Well. If he's, it did, he's, he's got us confused. It, it does go. Oh, I think it does go. How can he shoot so easy on that last shot? You know, we've seen that with other players that the, the 
they're they're confused by the speed when they hit it slow. It always falls short. Look at this. You'll be all right. You got past the eight ball. Lucky in a three-legged dog, y'all. I can tell you. I mean, you're talking about getting out backwards. Well, he yeah, but he, he made didn't. it work. You know, it's like Jimmy Rippey says: it doesn't matter which shot you choose, as long as you execute properly. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's giving lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, come on. He's up, man. He's up. Well, He's up. I'm just joking around. Jimmy's a great player. I'm just joking around with that. No, Jimmy is a great player. No, Don't believe me. I'm just kidding around about that. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mike DeShane is in charge here. He ran out from a weird place there and got out. Those wow. balls were sitting crazy. Yeah. He maneuvered around. Well, you know, the – the more games he wins, the more confidence he's going to get. There were a lot of people that favored Dennerson this match, but uh, I, th I thought he, I, I did he, the way he's been playing and breaking. But now the last break, he just let up on the break. Well, this is a, this is a momentum game here, and right now Mike's got all the momentum in his favor. And Dennis is—he's uh, not so happy right now. I can tell just the way he's. Moving around, yeah. He's, he knows he's letting this match get away. I mean, it's still relatively early in the match, but that's a big lead. I think that, or you know, yeah. he's, he's got a third of the third of the way there. Yeah, and Dennis has not won that all-important first game. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on him this break. Every other champion of any other sport that's in their 50s and 60s champions nicholas whoever it may be they all got millions of dollars yeah pool players in the 50s and they're giving lessons for 20 dollars an hour in the pool <laughs> i know that's disgusting isn't that well let me tell you something some of, there's some pool play like dennis when he does lessons in my house it's two hour minimum two hundred dollars hundred dollars an hour and we have no in fact he's going to be there in la for free. Dennis is going to be in L.A. from August 2nd through 12th, and he'll be doing lessons at my house. If anybody's interested, you can contact us at uh, jhelford at yahoo.com, and we'll set something up if you're in the Los Angeles area. Although we've done it. We've had people come from Phoenix, Las Vegas, just to spend an afternoon with Dennis. He's a good instructor, let me tell you. Is he? he? He can watch somebody play, and he will help them with their game. He just he just watches them and shows them maybe move their elbow or change their stance or. Yeah. Yep. Among the Filipinos, he's probably the best instru instructor I've seen. Really? Yeah. He'll give you a lesson. I, I, I'm always up to learning something. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what. He's he's a, he's very knowledgeable about the game. It's not an accident. He's one of the top players in the world. Meanwhile, here he is massaging this rack, and he's better, got to do something different. You better crank him. That breaking him half speed ain't gonna get it. He's in a big hole already. Can he do something to climb out of it? Made the eight ball. Again, other ball's going down. He's going to take this rack. This one looks pretty juicy. One ball's a problem. John Lehman. He's going to spot the eight ball. I 
I don't know what to do here, Jay. Come on, Bobby. Don't let me down. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm stumped. Stumped. I'm stumped. Well, I think you got to take the take the solids. solids yeah. yeah. He's only got one ball that's a problem is the one. Yeah. He can break it out. The only problem is if he starts messing around these balls, he'll have a knock that eight ball up and all that all them balls where it won't go. This is the best. He's got no angle on the five to break out the one. He could shoot the six and draw into them balls, but what that ain't no good because what about running down and letting the cue ball come back up? and hit those balls it might work he that's what he's it. trying to do go right through this that's what he wanted to do there he is he got it out in the open yes he did he was a, was a nice shot the one will actually go in the side or the corner although i think i believe he's going to shoot the five is that the seven <laughs> ball down here on the yes. bottom rail yep. okay he might shoot that he's shooting the five. shoot the five Shoot the five, then I would try to shoot the seven, then the four. This is a rack he really needs. Oh, he's got to get out from here. I think he's going to shoot the seven, then the four. Like that. No, no, no. He's taking the – he's using this. Yeah, you're right. Using the seven to get up on the four. He's shooting the four Thank next. It would be nice if he shoots the four, if he could pop off and shoot the one after that some kind of way depending on the angle he gets, you know. Cause he'd leave those other two balls for, because the one to the eight is something kind of goofy. That's my prediction. Six to the, seven to the four to the one. Know you this. Well, he was trying to get to the one right there and he didn't yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. He, you know he was thinking about saving the four for last. You know what he's done wrong, what he's not done wrong, but now he's got the, if he shoots a four last, the eight only goes in that one side. Well, I don't know. Forget he, it. Well, listen, he definitely made the rack more difficult than it was. Yep. I ain't saying nothing else. You keep saying that, but you keep talking. huh? We're not going to shut Bobby LeBlanc up. Don't worry about that. He might be quiet for one shot. Yeah. It's, you, you know, listen, it has nothing to do with what you said. It's just... Uh, it's the choices Dennis made. He's going to shoot the two in the side. You know, this guy's such a good player that even if, if he does things backwards or in an yeah, awkward manner, he, he still finds ways to get out. Yeah, he can still maneuver the cue ball around no matter yeah, where it look is. At this, look at this. you got the perfect angle to come across table for the four. Yeah. I think he's got to shoot the eight down in the end. Let's see. Oh, no, he's, he, wow, he put a nice stroke on that. He really just barely got there. He almost fell short, but looks like he's going to get his first game. And he did. Mike DeShane to break, leading four to one. Come on, Bobby, tell us a little story here between Well, Randy I'm trying to and, think of one. Oh, come on, you know a hundred of them. <laughs> Bobby, I, all you people out there, if you haven't read his book, it's a, it's hilarious, Confessions of a Pool Hustler. And let me tell you, the guy sitting next to me, he is really a pool. He was a pool hustler. And <laughs> he might still be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm retired. Um, in fact, I'm just plain tired. But, tired uh, and retired. You were a real pool hustler. I wa you know, I really want people say you're a hustler. I said no, because Bobby, I used to go to pool rooms and, and I'd right away, I'd say I'll, I'll play whoever wants to play. And I, I'd usually end up playing the best player in the room. I never tried to stall and play the weakest player. I only stalled for one month in my entire life, and that's when I was in Alaska. Oh, okay. I pretended I was a poker player, mm. and I had people playing me for 500 a game that couldn't make a ball. But other than that, everywhere else I went in the United States. You played good players. I know I you did. I played everybody because, you know, you get caught stalling some of these places. Oh, yeah, you get in trouble. Yeah, I mean, they chase you out to, down I never, the street. I always tried to play. I found I learned early on that even for $2 a game, I played my best because uh, uh -huh. uh, it, it, if you stalled, you know, 
let a guy win a few games. Now he gets even with you. Get even with him, and then he quits. Yeah. But if you get, I've, my experience was, if you get a guy stuck from the beginning, they keep playing. Look at this. Look at this. Um, What's he got here? I don't know. But Come on, like, help me out, Bob. I think he's going four to on shoot. the side, past the five. I think he's going to shoot the ten, and roll down here and shoot the twelve next. Yeah, that looks good too. I like that. That's what I think he's going to do. We'll see. If I'm correct, or he could shoot. There's the four. not very many stripes left. Man, that table sprung a leak there. If he shoots the four here, he made four balls on the break. He's got to shoot the ten here, Jay. Yeah. Watch. He's going for it. He's agreeing with you. I'm telling you, that's a shot. Natural roll down to get on the twelve next, and he's golden. If he shoots the four here, no, no telling what can happen. Yeah, you're right. Roll the ten down here in the corner. Ooh, wait a second. Where's he going? He's here? shooting the six, the seven. Hmm, I'm surprised. Well, he shoots so good now. Yeah, exactly. Wrong shot. Why did he take on that hard shot? I would have rolled that. I would have rolled that ball down there. Well, I'll tell you what, Bobby. A shot like that can be the momentum changer in the match. Yeah. Everything shifts just like that. Because you know that shot on the ten, if he rolls it, he can hit halfway up the rail. Exactly. At that speed. Exactly. So and the stri and the stripes were sitting so good. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. And well, he this table. One he one stroked it. Look at this. This ta with with four balls down, this table looks empty. It doesn't look congested at all. He's shooting the 14 first, which works. I've got the table still open. That's right. I think Dennis is going to punish him right now, and and. Uh, I can't believe he, he, he didn't shoot that 10 to well, roll it. Well, it's okay if he'd have made the ball, but missing that ball at this point is uh, mm -hmm. is a turning point in the match. Whether it will be the turning point, we don't know yet. Shoot and stop. Draw back about an inch, maybe. Nope. I He's like going to get above a ball. I like this better. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Now he's going to shoot this ball in the bottom right next. The 15. And then the 10 and stop. Just like that, it's going to be 4-2 to two with Dennis breaking. One eight ball away from game number two. That was big for Mike. If he wins, if he gets out there, it's five to one. I don't know why he missed that ball. Oh, he missed it badly. He didn't even flirt with the pocket he didn't there. Even, didn't cut it at all. He one stroked it on top of all that. It was a fairly tough shot, you know. Yeah, but, but not that tough. He should have made sure. Those <laughs> kind of shots, you look like you got to try to overcut it, and then yeah, you can't miss. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? If you overcut it, you just about can't miss it. And usually when you do miss it, you undercut it just like That's, he did. I, I see a lot of shots the same as you do. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot of situations where I know I just got to hit the ball as thin as I can. It's mm -hmm. got to go. Mm -hmm. hey, you can't over, A lot of shots, you can't overcut them. No. He damn near has to miss the whole ball to yeah, miss it. There you, you know. go. There you go. You don't have to really, you know, try to line it up perfectly, just knowing that it's a severe cut shot. Look how big Mike's beard is. It covers half his cheek. Yeah, I was I was talking to huh? Ken about that. I said he's got. Kenny says, well, it's just a you know a few days without shaving. I said, no, that's a beard. But look how high how high how high up it comes. Yeah. Well. It's because he's not trimming it at all. I know. Never seen him with a beard. First time. I hear balls going down. He made the eight ball the last two times in I a know. row. That was strong. Where's the cue ball? Parked up against those balls? On the right rail. By the oh, it's on the rail. Oh, yeah, he's okay. It looked like for a second that was the cue ball next to the 10 but 
These are cyclop balls. I think he's got to. I think he has to take the solids here, Jay. If he can make the, if he can make the four, I might shoot the four first if it goes through that gap. Yeah, he's looking at it. He's darn sure looking at it. Give a little plug to Diamond Table Company. They provide us with these beautiful smart tables. Something like 300 or 320 of them here. Look how pretty they look sitting there. Yeah. They're really nice looking table. With oh, the, they're beautiful tables. With the blue. I, like I got them. I got one that's the uh, kind of the, the diamond wood, the brown wood. But, of course, the one in my house is a, is a full-size nine-footer. Yeah. And that's using the very traditional tournament cloth, the Simona's cloth. Green. Yeah. Well, mine is, I've, I've changed over to the the Good. high blue, uh, whatever you call that blue. Midnight blue. I, no, it's not midnight blue. Sky blue. Sky blue, yeah. it's. I'll tell you what, I've, I discovered that you can see the balls a lot better. It's a lot brighter. Yeah. He's shooting that four. There you go. I'm still on stroke, buddy. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. Poppy, let me ask you something. I've been here for 10 days. Have you played any pool? Shh. Huh? Come on. I've played 400 jillion games of eight ball. I love it, too. Where? Where? Chicago and Milwaukee. No, I mean here have you played. Oh. In, the, in these 10 days, have I you got it? I played two racks of that six pocket over there, whatever Dick calls it. Where? Over there on the end, right over there by Cyclops. I don't know that game. I've, I've I've actually hit balls one time since yeah, I've been I in town. I played two racks in ten in ten days. Well, I bought I bought an inexpensive cue and I had to try it out. Meanwhile, Dennis is. This, this is this is a key shot, and he did. He cleared that one ball real nicely. But I think he's, well, he can go across table for the three. I don't, he might just roll up and shoot in the other other corner, Jay. You think it's hard to tell? Well, we can't see the. I think he's just going to roll straight up. Yeah, he is. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, he don't have it. Go have all, to, just yeah. follow that ball all the way down by the pocket. Yeah, because he'd have to hit this too hard with center ball. That's what he's looking at. He's yeah. looking at his angle. I'd go past it. I'd go past the three, the, the line. Really? Yeah. And that way you just go straight up that gap to shoot the two next. Oh, yeah, that's – Yeah. Well. I mean. He's going to go this. He's going to shoot easy. You sure? Hmm. I think so. Well, uh, once again, Dennis is a little indecisive here. If you went past the line, look, you shoot the three, go right between them balls. You get on the two next. I don't know about that shot. Why would he do that? Don't make it hard on yourself, Dennis. <laughs> Is that a solid up on top there? Is that a six ball way up there? Yeah. Okay. But if he should, if, if he gets on the five, it can just it can shoot and stop, and it goes. It does go. I think Dennis's first instincts were the best. Just fall forward, just roll, shoot the three. Yeah, just roll, roll down there. That's there. what he's going to do now. Just like that, but he's okay. He's got an angle. Yeah. But now he's now he's got to go in the gap, and he might hit the nine. You know, this is hard. You're right. You're right. He's going, he's going right to the nine. Hey, Bobby, I'm really glad you didn't quit talking. I can't shut up. <laughs> Neither can I. Neither can I. They yeah, don't have to whine but me But here's up. the problem. This is about the time of night you and I always get in trouble. As it gets late, you know, we start getting a little loose. No, no, no. We're not going to fall. We're not going to fall back into that no, old mode. That ain't happening. Know? That ain't happening. Yeah, we already got balled out once. I already said that Jim Rimpy's an instructor, <laughs> Hall of Famer, and he's giving lessons. <laughs> I'm already in trouble for that. Yeah, but you didn't say he was giving lessons for twenty dollars an no. hour. We know better than that. See, look at this shot. Boy, he hit it good. He got through there perfect. He got through he's still, there perfect. He's still a little. Can well, he, can he roll this ball slowly and then shoot the six next? I don't know. Oh, now he's looking to see if he can go forward and shoot the two up in the corner. Well, this is where Dennis is at his best, closing out a rack. He might just stab this ball if it's straight in, and then shoot the then shoot the six. Yeah, this is this is good camera work right here. Thank you guys. If he can stop that cue ball, he's got the six. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I think he's jacked up on it. You know, this makes the shot a lot harder. You know, and plus, if he shoots the six next, he's going to have a hard time getting on the two unless he shoots it down in the left corner. 
That's what he's looking at. F stab it, six in the corner, and roll against the rail. Shot's a lot harder when you put that cue up in the air like that, but no problem for Dennis Arcuyo. Now he's now he's going to shoot the two in the lower corner. I'd go three rails with this six, top um, left. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I think. Well, no, he's drawing. What's he doing? Slide. Yeah, he's sliding over to the right, taking the two in the corner. Be careful, Dennis. Be careful. What he got there. He almost got jacked up over the top yeah. of the ten, but he I think he's good. okay. Yeah, he I think he's good. okay. Yeah. Yeah, he can just stick the cue ball. He'll yeah, draw back about an inch. Good shot. Eight ball in the corner. This match just got close thanks to that miss by Mike DeShane. Four to three, and Mike is breaking. A moment ago, Mike was ahead four to nothing. Long race here, race to 11. Winner of this match is going to get 11 G's. G whiz. Keith would say 11 dimes. 11 dimes. He was a dandy, wasn't he? <laughs> well, I hear that he might be coming to the U.S. Open nine ball this year. I hope so. I don't know why. He, he hadn't played pool in 20 years. Uh, it's been about 10, almost 10. Yeah. But Love to see him back. Boy, playing. he's such a natural, Bobby. You know, he could play pool for a week and be playing good. Oh yeah, and he's he's, always, in, he's in good shape. His health is good right he's now. He's always going to play good. Yeah, he's good. He's one of the greatest. One of the greatest. Yeah, he was a natural. Where did you meet him first? Bob's he, billiards. Oh, you ran into him down there. Beach and ball. Yeah, he was a he was a monster down there. And then I ran into him with when I played Ronnie Allen. You know, I busted Ronnie on a big table in 1970 at, in a the Golden Q in Phoenix, and Keith was with him. Oh, yeah, right. I was 20, and Keith was, thir was 13. Yeah, right. I busted Ronnie playing even nine ball in a four and a half and nine. Yeah, well, yeah, that's and, possible. And, yeah. and he was a pretty good player, too. I'll tell you what, he yeah, could play nine. Yeah, he was a good player. Yeah, I know. That was, that was no easy feat. No. Did he, I don't think he made anything. He didn't. Come up empty. Here comes Dennis, chance to tie up the match. I can't tell the whole story about me playing Ronnie, but it was. Write another book, will you? Yeah, no. <laughs> I would like to. You might, well, listen, the only reason I wrote a second book is because so many people asked me for it. Oh, yeah, pool wars. Yeah. Pool wars and more pool wars. More pool wars, yeah. I like the first one. I haven't seen the second one. Oh, I gotta get your copy, man. Yeah, I would love to read it. Give me, give me your address, man. All right. I'll give you, I'll give you a special deal. I'll give you the long deal, Bobby. Yeah. The, the <laughs> discount book. <laughs> your, 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 that's, that's brutal. Oh man. Well, look at this. The two goes. Everything goes. He might roll down and shoot the two next. I believe he's going to shoot the two next. Jay, what do you think? Yeah, well, sure, why not? Or the one or whatever he gets on. He's going down that direction. The important thing is everything's out in the open. You know what? He also could shoot here and stop and shoot the six. We'll see. I'm tired. Of he's, got, he's got a lot of choices. My brain is getting hard. You're, you're fried. I'm going to go home. I'll be seeing patterns. You know, like he should have shot the four. <laughs> That's like. Sitting up and he's shooting the six. There you go. It's making me crazy. There you go. <laughs> Bobby, you're still hitting them good. I figured he's going to do that. I like this. This is good. I like watching him play. He just pockets the ball so nice. Everything's very clean. Yes. But, you know, I tell you, my fa but my favorite player, I think, is ten times more fun to watch than anybody. Alex. Oh yeah, he's he's the most exciting today. His style. I agree. He, I he agree. just hits the cue ball so perfect. I mean, People I, don't ever give don't give him credit. They I start. Don't know he's, why. He might be the best all around player in the world right now. He he hasn't got any weakness. No, he hits the cue ball better than any living human, in my opinion. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah I like. Yeah. His stroke and follow through and everything is just like. Ugh. 
yeah, it's but Dennis just, is close. I mean, they, this yeah, it's just thing. so it's it's yeah. Alex is so perfect, so perfect. I'm just can't. I'm just seeing him shoot in hard shot after hard shot, like they're you know like they're easy. Mike, is this, Mike has messed up his lead by that one. You even said it. This was a turn. Remember, you said the momentum's changed, and look what's happened. No question. No you question. Even, you called it, Jay. Yeah. Well, we got a long way to go still. Except now it's not a race to 11, it's a race to 7. You are watching the finals of the US Open 8 Ball Championship. Brought to you by CSI Events Production Company. I'm Jay Helford, in case you didn't know. Next to me is Bobby LeBlanc, also known as Cotton. <laughs> I think I've told you, Bobby. I didn't know your name for like the first 10 years I knew you. I just knew you were Cotton. Cotton, yeah. You know, you know first time somebody said Bobby LeBlanc to me, I, I had no idea who they were yeah. talking about. I was like, what? Who? Look at Warren. There's Warren, Warren Camp. Go sweating out his another, partner and roommate. Another great player, there's no doubt. They probably share a little bit of action with each other. Not too much, but maybe. Yeah. You know they're good. They're good that way. Well, these the Filipinos are great. You know when one guy wins and's got money, he helps all the other guys out. Yeah. I mean they really do. They're 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 bitter rivals on the table, but but off the table they'll they'll buy each other food, and they'll give each other money. I mean, and it's not like I'll give you I'll loan you two hundred, pay me back later. They just give it to them. You know. I mean they I, just give it to them. You know how I know that? I was married to a Filipino. That's right. And Jeannie. I, I kept giving her brother money. Oh yeah. You I never got any back. Never got it back. Yeah. No kidding. No, it's all one way that way. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't. Well, you know, I'm supporting a family over there right now myself, so I know that I know that story. But I, it's a little different situation with the players. One, one guy wins, he helps the other ones, and then the other guy wins and he helps them. Let's see if he can break good. Last break worked pretty good. Last two, he broke good. good. See, he see, you notice that corner ball goes right in. Off that break, right in. Well, he, he may he's got to shoot the stripes. I don't he's think shooting. he's got much choice with that ball he's buried shooting. in the pocket. He's shooting a ten here. That's oh yeah, shoot. yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Ten into that. What is that? Uh -huh. the Fourteen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what I would do. Why not? It's perfect. And then you can swing over there. You're on straight in on the eleven or whatever. But. It's just because if you shoot the ball, ball. How can you shoot this no, one? No, no, no. This, this is, is a tough shot. You can, ah, why shoot a shot where you might miss it? You got to, you got to establish a. Yeah, exactly. You want to. You got to make the first shot. It, I'm with you on Plan that. Plan A ball. You got to make the. If you're going, you got to go. You watch. He shoots a ten. I guarantee you're gonna shoot the ten. I mean, I'm in such. A, I'm in such a stroke, Jay. I'm so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean. Look at oh, that. he didn't hit it hard. Oh, you know, that's the second time he's done that where the ball just. I know. He, he he didn't have to hit it that soft, did he? I'd have never hit that ball that soft. No. I'd, have I'd have made sure I got there. It, I'll tell you what, it didn't look like it was going. It did not look like it was going. Well, now he should. he might draw up and shoot the 13 next. Spin Why up not the shoot the 10 and then the 11? That's what I would do, but he might. He might think this is an ideal time to get on the 13. Just spin up the rail, maybe. I don't. I don't. You think hate so. to leave that 11. I though. don't. Yeah. You don't want to leave. No, the I 11. think I think you got to get these two balls right now. I agree. But I wouldn't be surprised if he spun up and shot the 11, 13 next. I would. I'd be surprised. But I like you. You got I'm, other ways to get over to the 13. Yeah, ball. you do. You don't have to do that. I think you get these two balls out of the way. But how are you going to get on the 13? Which ball are you going to use? Maybe the 12. Well, you got to get right in that gap, yeah. though. You know, that's well, that's what he's looking at right now. If the yeah, 11, you might be, you listen, might be right. But if the 11 goes by the 3 or the 10's at, I would shoot the 13 next. If it has one pocket over here on the left, I would shoot it next. Well, you got to get this ten. You got to get this ball that's in the pocket. What is it? The tw the ten ball. You got to get it out of the way because you might need that pocket for the thirteen. Yeah. He's going to spin up and shoot the thirteen next. Watch. 
You're a mind reader, you know that? You're a mind reader. <laughs> well, we're he's definitely shooting a 10. It's see. what's next is the we're question. Let's see. This is interesting. Is it, is, is it, Bobby says 13, I say 11. I like the 11 too, but I'm just thinking. Well, I think you might shoot the 11 and get on the 13 off the 11. Why not? Why not? Because it's just so easy to do it now. Just spin right up the rail. All right. All right. We'll see. You're probably going to be right, Jay. Well, I, I, I'm right once in a while. Hey, you know what? Now he's looking at. Uh, he's looking both ways. Yeah. He just Dennis has really been studying these racks. Of course, he wants to win this tournament, so he treats every rack like it's the final rack. He told me that once. I said, Dennis, you you close matches so good. He said. He said, even the first rack is just as important as the mm -hmm. last. That's a good attitude to have. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. You're right, Jay. Are you sure? Oh, that's interesting how he did that. He needed to get that out of the way so he can. I, I think he shoots 11. Why not draw back for the 13 right now? The only problem with that is if he shoots a 13, what's he going to shoot next? That 15's he'll, he'll, giving him problems. He'll draw, he'll draw back and shoot the 9. Well, let's see. Let's see what he does. My brain hurts. <laughs> it, it's a, it is a little bit of a strain <laughs> in, brain, analyzing these racks. It is. My brain yeah. hurts from thinking about this. Let's see what, what the big D does. See? Well, did he want to get that? I don't think he wanted to be that far off the rail. He's about an inch, two inches too far. About a ball and a half's width. Well, he 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 wants to shoot it. Will he shoot it, though? You know, why couldn't he shoot the nine and go to the end rail with right English and come up on above the 13? Why not? Why not? He's going to shoot no. the 13 and bump the eight. Watch. Yeah, okay. He's okay. Bump He's got to hit this one good with that ball on the rail. He's got to hit it perfect. He's going to bump the eight. Watch. Like wow. That. He That's did right. hit it perfect, didn't he? Ooh. He did hit it perfect. Yeah, but, but he's he's bad here. He come out really bad here. Oh, that was. He came out he really. Tried, he was wanting to hit the eight full. I'll, I'll tell you what. He never considered it, but I, from that angle, I thought he should have shot the nine and come yeah, above the thirteen. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It would have been so much easier. Now he's in trouble. Well, Dennis, we know where you want it to be, but this is where you are. Wow, he's got to. He's, he's going to cut this ball. He's going to cut this 14 ball to the right. Yeah, he don't have any choice. I, I think he's going to cut the 15 ball to the right. Is it the 15? I'm okay. Just, I'm just I messing. don't know if it's a 15 or the 14. I'm just messing I, with you. I'll, ne I'll, I'll never know these balls. <laughs> it looks like the 14. Man. This is a hard cut shot here, Shoot, and, yeah, and, yeah. and and you really it's really hard to control the cue ball. You got to just try to make the ball. He might be trying to just hit the seven full. Can't tell from here, but this is this is hard. Yeah, he's afraid he might go off the seven into oh, the yeah. pocket. Yeah, this is this is because he's got to hit it super thin. Cutting it, he overcut it. Literally, yeah, he did go off. He back. did go off the seven in the pocket. And the worst that could happen just did. Mike DeShane's going to take a break. We got a little time out. We'll be back in probably five minutes.
Mike DeShane's got ball in hand. Sneak that cue ball in there. You know, if he set that cue ball down and it touched an object ball, that would be a foul. Got to be a little careful when you. Maybe Mike heard me. He looked up here like he didn't like what I just said. <laughs> you know what we say? That's, he's got rabbit ears. Who? Mike. You mean hears everything? Yeah. What, somebody sharked him? <laughs> me. No, I don't. I don't think I did. I, I. I don't think I was talking that loud. But I think he just. Let's see. Good shot. Wrap ears. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard that term. You know that. Well, thanks to that scratch by Dennis Arculio. You know, I saw Dennis during the break just now. He said, I wanted to bump the eight. I said, you did bump the eight. <laughs> he just, he did, he hit the eight on the bottom side and he needed to hit the top side of the eight. I don't know how these guys, I swear, Jay, how they get so sharp so easily. I, I, I've never been that way. I've well, always, I've never been, and I've played in a lot, I've played a lot of pretty good sized money matches and I played in several tournaments. It's just never bothered me like that. Yeah. You gotta you, you gotta know? close everything off. What I always say is you gotta have your hundred percent focus on the perimeter of the table. You that's it. You can't even be aware of what's going on outside. Once it, once you get in the zone you, I don't care if a gun goes off. Yeah, right? exactly. I, I don't know. Exactly. Well, I started out in pool room in, in, a, in a kid's pool room when I was young, and there was jukebox playing, yeah. kids screaming and yelling, guys yelling at girls and everything like yeah. that. They'd be running around the table while I was shooting. It's like I Chuck mean. E. Cheese. Yeah, exactly. So I got used to playing with noise. Had to. Had no choice. Michael make this eight ball and take a five to four lead. I mean, there are certain things that will shark you, but not like somebody eating potato chips in the stand, <laughs> like Earl. Yeah, right. You know? Well, these guys, some of them may get a little of that prima donna attitude, like, no. you know, like, no. my, hey, the worst of I ever saw in my life was Moscone. Oh, I know. Man, if he, he, he might be in a place doing an exhibition with 300 people, and uh, if somebody coughs while he's shooting, oh, he'd be mad. And heaven forbid you, you'd light a cigarette while he's shooting. That's funny. I, I was around Moscone a lot. Listen, he'd stop and stare at you. Would he? He'd stop. He'd stop shooting and st stare at you. I mean, give you s like a teacher, you know, that hard stare where they look yeah. at you for like ten seconds. You know, he'd embarrass really? you. He'd really? embarrass you, man. He, he, what Moscone expected was a hundred percent attention from everybody in the place when he's shooting. Really? Yeah. And he really didn't like it if his opponent started running balls. He he'd tell him I'm not. He never did with me because he 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 beat me to death when I played an exhibition against him. But but if his opponent started making balls, he might say to him between racks, he say, "They didn't come to watch you play." No, <laughs> I swear, they didn't come to. They came to watch me play. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, he was That's a funny, funny. He was a funny guy. But wasn't he one of the probably? Don't you think he's probably the greatest straight pool player of all time? Maybe. Uh, well, the, the, the well, you're. I don't know if you, you're old enough to remember the old timers. You know what the old timers used to say. Even that's when Moscone was. You know, just Greenleaf. Maybe. Uh, the, all the old timers had a lot of respect for Greenleaf. Yeah. All the old time when we were kids, the the old guys, if you if they started talking about the best player, they never said Moscone. They, they said make Greenleaf. A, they should because, make a movie about because, him because Greenleaf. You know, Bobby, he was not only the greatest straight pool player, but he would get up and gamble. He was he, he was like get, Shane. He'd get and he right would at, drink, and he married that one Indian princess or something yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, that entertainer. Yeah, he was an but, amazing but, guy. But Greenleaf was a guy that had the respect of all the old players, whether they were hustlers or, you know. Wouldn't you love to have met him? Yeah, oh, I guess. Man, he was old. a handsome guy, too. Yeah, he was a good-looking guy. He looked like an old one of those old movie stars. Yeah. Well, he, listen, he was he was around at a time in the 20s in the heyday of pool in this country where he made big money. 
Yeah. You know, well, relatively big back then, like a thousand, two thousand a week was like making a million a year now. Look at this, nothing goes. Anymore. Still empty, still empty. No, I, in my lifetime, Moscone is the greatest I ever saw because he he run a hundred balls every single day. It was Moscone and Miserac and Siegel. They were the best straight pool players oh, I yeah. ever saw. I agree. But all I know is the old timers all swore by Greenleaf. If you asked them, if I said who was the best between Greenleaf and Moscone, I mean to a man they would say Greenleaf because he was a great player under pressure. Well, he back, go, he, back, Greenleaf would go looking for games. And know? back then, you know, there were like something like two or 3,000 pool rooms in New York. <laughs> I'm, yeah, like 3,000. I know. Can you imagine that? How yeah. great it was. Big back ones. Then. Big ones. Well, we, I guess we grew up in the wrong era. But we grew up in an interesting era. You know? I remember the pool rooms back in the 60s, Ohio. They had the high chairs and they had the spittoons where yeah. people would spit that juice yeah. in the spittoon. Yeah, we season. still we still got to see some of those old pool rooms. Yeah. A lot of them were still around. Meanwhile, we got a pool match to play. Yes. <laughs> Two ball in the corner. You know, Bobby, after these matches, though, people come to me and say, we love your story. I, I mean, if you don't, tell me, please. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we have a, Bobby and I got a lot of things we can relate we try not to let it interfere with the match. And I don't want to be putting time out again. <laughs> Look at this, behind his back. The, the Filipinos shoot behind their back better than anybody. All of them learn to shoot behind their back. I don't know, that's just almost like a tradition. They do that as opposed to shooting opposite-handed. I always, I always, t Bobby, I always tell young pool players, I said, spend about 30 minutes a day shooting with your left hand if you're a right-hander. I said, it'll make you a, a heck of a lot better player if you can switch hands. And we've talked about this before. All the great players what's, could switch hands. What's happening here, Jay? The eight goes, by, eight goes in the pocket? I guess. He I sure mean, he, he's, he's really, playing shape for it. He's really made this run out tough. Well, he's made it fast. I barely got two sentences out, and, yeah, the eight's got to go. Yeah, nice out. I'll tell you what, we got a good match here now. For a minute, it looked like uh, Mike was just going to kill Dennis. He was ahead four to nothing and had a chance to make it five to nothing. Missed the ball, and everything's changed since then. Somebody came to me during the break, Bobby, and said that Dennis is canting the rack. What? What's that mean? Tilting it. Oh. Tilting it. Somebody said Dennis is tilting it. Yeah, the guy said it's right on the side. He said he's tilting it to the side. And uh, John Lehman was informed, and now he came over, and he just moved that rack. He, he moved it to where it's, I mean, it basically the back of the rack should be parallel with the back rail. You know, if you were to, if you were to tilt it, I would tilt the front of the rack, the point to the left that way you can hit the second ball well that's what he was doing that's the uh, supposedly the, the he was canting it so that he had the second ball was more exposed somebody told you that huh? yeah they told me and and they informed john layman and you just saw john go out there and move the rack okay so he did move it huh yeah he tilted it back that's why he's standing where he is did mike know it Mike never said a word. Mike never said a word. Scores five to five. Huh. Yeah, you would tilt it to the left. That way you could hit yeah, the second ball exactly, full in the face, yeah. I guess. Hey, it was working pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> we know that. Making the eight ball, making the corner ball. Let's see if the corner ball goes again. It's the sixth ball in the corner. It's gone every other time. He did. It went right in. Swish. Ooh, the four and ten just got tied up. And there's the eight ball sitting right by the side. I'll shoot, shoot the four and ten here and drawing back in them balls or the combination goes in the corner. Got to take the stripes here, Jay. I'm right. not so sure. I'm not so sure if what, what he'll take. Well, the four and ten. Go. I know what I like, but what would you do? I'd shoot it. 
I cut that four into the ten. You got to overcut it a little bit. Yeah. But see, this is like we were talking about. You can't overcut this ball. You no. know what I mean, no, Bobby? You can't. If you if, if you want to shoot this combination, it's just a lesson to you people out there on this shot. For, you don't really have to line it up to ju just cut it as thin as you can, yeah. and it will go. You can't overcut this ten ball. You know, he might be afraid of the four going over toward that 15 by the rail. Yeah, and I don't know, but I would definitely shoot the 14. But yeah, you if you're going to take stripes, you better shoot it. If he was a little bit further over, he could shoot the seven and go in there like that. Hmm. And, and, and then go into the four here, you know. The solids are good if he could tear that four out. I don't know. My brain hurts again. I ain't saying nothing else. <laughs> Let him Bob, Bob, you're funny. That's going to be your line. Let him figure. I ain't talking anymore. Let I ain't him, talking I ain't anymore. Saying nothing. You're like Bernie Mac. <laughs> you, know, you ever seen Bernie Mac? He's he, funny. He's funny. You know what he says all, every few minutes? He right. said, I'm not afraid of you guys. I'm not afraid of you guys. <laughs> Look at this. He's going to. He's going to break it out this way. This is a good shot because everything is, everything's hanging if he makes it. Well, but now he have he, yeah, he wow. got now the two side up. <laughs> wow, that's pretty unlucky there. And he's got to shoot a long shot here on the one, but I think he just tried to roll it in. Let's see how funny that one shot. Well, the two will go. The two will go where the in the corner where the cue ball is right now. He's yeah, he should get he out. He gets on it. Right. Well, just roll this ball in and you'll be all right. I I, I learned a long time ago, Bobby. You keep it as simple as you can. Why make the game hard? You know, I, I I play the way I play when I used to play a lot of pool is just keep everything out in the open and keep it simple and don't try to do too much. I see the biggest mistake a lot of players make is they try to do too much on a shot. Yeah. I mean, what do you got to do with this one ball? Just roll it in. Yeah. You got the five. The five's waiting for you. Just medium speed and cue ball maybe goes to rail and comes back. I wouldn't shoot it hard. Yeah, why? Yeah, I wouldn't even shoot a stop shot like this. I'd roll it in. This makes the shot a little bit harder. Well, but he's a little better than me, too. <laughs> Maybe a lot better. You know, we practice at my house. We play. Uh, I play in one pocket. He gives me nine to six in the break. Uh -huh. And I do win a game once in a while. He is a good player. I'll tell you what, he is a good player. This guy is a good player. We play bank pool, and he gives me, gives me uh, five to four. If he gives me six to four, I do beat him as much as he beats me. But it's five to four, I can't win. I can't win, Bobby. No, five to four is. Uh, it's a big spot unless you're playing a, a world champion. <laughs> but, but, no, if, but if you're playing good, running a couple balls. Yeah, yeah well, big. I played real good. You know who? You know who I beat that way. Who? A, a few times, Warren. Really? Yeah, I, I beat. He can't give me five to four, but Dennis can. Last time I played Warren, I run four and out twice. He said, I'm going to eat now, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Of course, ain't nothing like playing on the home court. Dennis is ahead, right? Six to five. Yeah, Dennis is. I think that's the first time he's been ahead in the match. It is. Uh-huh. Well, he's got that break working. That is so important in this game. My God, it really is magnified. You've got to break good. If you don't break good, you can't win. Well, we got a nice crowd here now. Ozzy tells me he's going to rectify this problem with the bleachers next year because the the way it's set up you need to be in the top row of the bleachers to be able gotta, to see and then you got to stand up and then you got to stand just up to see over the yeah. people's heads yeah if you got a vip seat you got a great seat of course they're paying for those seats they're paying a few hundred dollars to sit right here on the rail the for bleachers the are free for the whole event yeah the bleachers are free but he can. We can really improve this bleacher sitting to make it good. You got to. You got to elevate the bleachers. Put them up in the air. Yeah, because this is. Yeah, the 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 bottom three or four rows of the bleachers are worthless. But he's. You know. 
Bobby, as you do these tournaments, you always find ways to improve things yeah. and make it better. You can't really complain if you're in the bleachers and in the back row or standing up because it's free, baby. It's free. That's right. Now look at these balls. What's what's happening? What did he make? Don't well, matter. it doesn't matter because it's matter. an open table. Yeah. We used to play eight ball years ago where you had to take what you made. That's the way we played for the most part. Which is Always. about ten times tougher. It's a lot tougher. It's a lot tougher, but I liked it because it it's an adds an element of skill to the game. You know, Bobby, I enjoy what I do now as a commentator, and I enjoy being a tournament director. But I like playing the best. Oh, me too. That was yeah. the most me fun. Me too. Me too. You know what I you know what I say, Bobby. People talk to me about, well, is this a hard job or is that a hard job? Hang on, I'll tell you in a second. I say, no. They say, well, what's, 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 what's hard? I said, well, the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life is make the nine ball from off the end rail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? I mean, think about it. I mean, it was like case game and stuff like that. And, you know, and you, and you end up and you're on the end rail and the nine ball's all the way down table. That's yeah. to me. That's the hardest thing you, to keep your con self control and discipline to shoot that shot. But Mike is working his way. One thing I was proud of, Bobby. What? I rarely missed a nine ball. I mean, I rarely missed a nine really? ball. Really? That was my that was my strength. Let me see that nine ball and I'll make it. That's what got me the money a lot of times. Meanwhile, let's see if Mike can get the money yeah, there. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Well, he's yeah, but he's, he he's over the ball a little bit, but I think he's all right. He doesn't have to. Move. He's got enough room that he can cue on it. Yeah, he can draw it into the rail. Yeah, he's okay. Well, he's he's really jammed up here, but he you know he shoots these shots real good. He's very good elevated. See that? He couldn't have hit it much better than that. Yeah, good shot. This turned out to be a great match. It looked like Mike was going to get away from him, but he missed that one ball and. Now here we are, six to six, racing to five for all the cash. It's a good match. I like the way these guys are playing. They're just, you know, they're they're getting down in the dirt and playing hard. No talking, no sharking, no messing Nothing. around. Exactly. No funny stuff. A lot of good players play with those Kamui tips. They're some of the best tips, that's for sure. That's what I have on my cue, Kamui. A black, medium black clear with the clear backing. I love that clear backing on there. Yeah. It looks so cool. Looks like your tip's ready to fall off. <laughs> it does. People say, hey, man, oh, yeah, tip, right, right. Your tip's fixed to fall off. So I know, dude, that's a clear backing on there. I like the way it looks. Dennis is going for that second ball break. Boom, 13 in the corner. Man, he's got that ball wired. He's got it wired. Look out, cue ball. Okay, you're all right. You're all right. Man, he's nice balled. spread here. He made a couple balls, but it's like everything looks like it's kind of out in the open. I know what I would do. There's no doubt here. Saw it. Nope, shoot the 212 combination. Oh, there you go. There you go. And that draw opened. back and shoot that. Yeah. Draw back and shoot that ball next on the rail, the 15. Watch. Yeah, and he's got those stripes right right by the 8. He'll overlook yeah. it. I'm not shoot so the, sure. Shoot the 2 and draw back for the 15, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, it's an open table, so he can shoot a combination if he wants to. See if he does it. Yes, sir. Bobby. You're so shrewd. 
I'm telling you something. I've been playing eight I'm ball. Not playing, my whole life. I'm not playing no eight ball with you anymore. Yeah, I'm you are. We're, part, we're, I'm playing, on, we're partners. We're oh, partners. I love that. I like you for a partner. <laughs> you always you always compliment me when I make a good shot. That's well, all I want my partner to do. Say thank you, Jay. That one time we played bank partners, I made one bank, you made four. <laughs> yeah, but you were you on were, that day, weren't you? You were. Oh making, man, I was. You were joking. making everything you shot at. Oh, listen, I played so much on that table. I got really in stroke on Fat Boy's table, man. I I felt real comfortable. I got to play good one pocket. I was playing every day for like a year, but that one day, that one day, my bank was off, and you never missed one. I'm like, dude. Well, it it happens like that sometimes. It happens like you that. You played good that day. Yeah. You were making oh, every I, cross. Aside. I could see every shot. I guarantee. Isn't that I funny could see how that works? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Dennis is on right now. Dennis is on uh -oh. right now. A little too straight. Why? Why? Does it, can he just go forward for the? Yeah, he can, he's going he's to pop it. No, he's no, all right. He killed the ball. Uh, he, this is all right. I guess it's all right. <laughs> you take it. I know you take it in a minute. In a minute. Oof. He's okay. You know, we were talking about Rimpy a little while ago. And Rimpy hustled me to play pool in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Really? And he was a world champion. You know, he was a champion. He won major tournaments. He's one of the top players. I said, Jimmy, I can't play pool with you. He knew I had a lot of money on me. I was traveling. Uh -huh. I was driving a Cadillac Eldorado. I had like 5000 in my pocket. You know. Cadillac he, Eldorado. Uh, yeah, I was. Man, That's I, back in the day, I was, man. I was wheeling and dealing, man. You know. But uh, yeah, I couldn't play pool with Jimmy. I told him I couldn't. And we, and, but he kept on me, on me, on me. I said, well, Jimmy, the only game we can possibly play is bank pool. And we finally matched up. He gave me eight to seven. You know, back then it was full rack banks. Uh -huh. He gave me eight to seven, and we played for 50 a game. And he took me down to the bowling alley where, where it was like his home court. He had called ahead. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you a story, Bobby. When we get there, there's like 50 people st sitting all around oh, waiting because, wow. you know, they knew he was going to massacre so some guy. I was going to be the designated victim. Uh -huh. But meanwhile, I won four games in a row. <laughs> and I t really? Yeah, I, I beat him for 200. But uh, uh, it wasn't a lot of money. But well, that's but, strong, uh, beating him with the ball, yeah. playing anything. Uh, yeah, well, was, yeah, I banked better than him, let me tell you, at that time. you know, that's strong. That was my road game. Yeah. That was my road game. But the funny thing is, Bobby, by the time that we played three games, everybody had left. It was embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> everybody was gone. <laughs> at the end, there was probably two people watching. Uh, you know, he never asked me to play again after that. I promise you, <laughs> that was that was the end of that conversation. No, that's strong though to beat Rimpy. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, well, I got a few scalps at Bank Pool, some good ones. Anyway, well, you know, like they say, I'd rather be a has been than a never was. And I'm kind of, I'm a has-been. I can't play pool anymore. I can't beat nobody. You laying down the groundwork for something. <laughs> <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Hope it ain't me. But, I'm, but, I'm, but Bobby, I'm, uh, I'm still, if somebody challenges me to play, I still get up and play. Oh, yeah. I won't ever ask nobody to play anymore. But I do play by request. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. Let's see if Mike can tie up this match. I don't know what he's going to shoot here. I swear, I mean, those, those solids look so appetizing, you know. The only one he's got to worry about is the three. The rest of the rest of everything is hanging. Well, these guys have both been very careful in choosing their opening shots and choosing which balls they shoot. Oh, no, what was that about? He got, well, it he worked. Did, it did good. You know, well, I'll tell you what, whatever he did, it worked. He's got to get on the three immediately. I, I like the way they're playing right now. They're both playing really good. They're at the top of their game right now. I'd try to get on the three right now. That's what he's going to do, Jay. Because he's got you know, he's got to get that ball out of there now. It only goes in one pocket. And he's got a really good angle to either swing over or to go forward. Yeah, he's going forward. Right down the line. Bounce, 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 bounce. He's okay. Yeah. He's he come got, out good. You got all these balls. I think he'll he'll probably run down here shoot the four next. 
That's my prediction. The four next. Yeah, he's going forward. Yep. Four's next. He's going to clean these up. I mean, both guys now are really on their game where if the balls are out in the open, they're going to get out. Wouldn't it be something if this one won Hill Hill? It could happen. He wanted to shoot the seven next and he got jacked up. Not that it matters, but that's what he wanted to do. Remember, he hits these balls good. He, he's got good control of shots like that. Uh-huh. Didn't control that one so good. Well, yeah, he, but he, I think he's okay. He yep. can shoot either ball. If he, sh if he chooses to shoot to seven, he might use inside English. Let's see how he much. Should, he, sh he should have just rolled up in and shot the five next instead of trying to draw over. Yeah, he could have just stopped the ball right just there. Just rolled up. Yeah, exactly. Well, even if he just killed the ball there, he'd have been all right. I don't know why he did that. Well, you know, see, sometimes the thought processes don't flow so easily when you're in the heat of things. But I think he's all right. I think he can shoot the five and draw up above that ball. See, he's, he, he's this is not a hard shot for him. No, I think he's going straight across. He's all right. I think he'd just shoot inside English and hold the cue ball right there. Well, you saw him cueing on the side of the ball. That's not a fair. <laughs> Bobby, come on. No, man. It was funny. Huh? When me and Ken was on there a while ago, Yeah. before I could say anything, he would jump in there. He's shooting a three next. I'm like, Ken, give me a chance to say something. <laughs> it was funny. Well, Ken, you know? Ken, uh, Ken, Ken sees things fast. I said, slow yeah. down. Give me a chance to jump in there. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, Ken makes our job easy. He does, he does most of the analysis, yes. and I just commentate on the uh, attitude of the players. He's like a surgeon going through the rack, like a guy doing a surgeon doing heart surgery, yeah. dissecting the rack. Uh, what makes it so sickening is he's right most of the time. <laughs> I told him, I told him, I said, you know, I said, I said, last night we were talking about you, Ken, I said, you know, I said, you're right like 90% of the time, 99% of the time. And he's, he's laughing. I said, Jay said that the 1% of the time – that you're not right, you say the guy shot the wrong ball. <laughs> he started laughing. He thought it was funny. Well, it was funny it was, at it the was, time. It was. It's on. Somebody just asked me if this is on TV in the rooms, and I know it's been all week. Yeah. That's a Debbie Welfringer. Yeah. Right from up in the northwest. She stayed in my house here last year. She's very nice. She runs that BTRT tour up there in Oregon or Washington, wherever it is. Pretty sporty little player too. She's very nice too. She's yeah, a nice she's a good person. girl. She's yeah. a good. We worked together. She booked Shane on a tour up there in oh, the Northwest. She? Yeah, we put it together. Yeah, she she calls me about. We talk every few weeks or so on the phone. She's, she's a good nice. girl. She's really nice. Yeah. Look at this match, seven to seven. Wow. I hope they get. I, I'm having so much fun with you, Jay. I hope they start over. <laughs> easy, Bobby. Easy. Well, Ozzy Ozzy told me tonight. He says I want you guys back next year. I said, God willing, we'll be here. Yep. Well, this is not the best break. He made the corner ball, but look at all these. He, <laughs> this is interesting. Look at this. Not one ball is past the side pocket. I know. Not one ball is past the side pocket. That's Man, these balls are these balls are jammed. Yeah, you you got to make a better break than that. I would have no idea how to run out from here if you give me a hundred guesses. Well, maybe there is no run out here. I don't know. No. I mean, look at the, they're all jammed up. I guess all you can do here is just make a ball and then duck. I don't know what else you can do, Jay. Well, you can see that cluster on the right side there. I just don't know either. I mean, he could shoot. He can shoot solids, no question. He could shoot the five into that seven and get the rack started. But, man, he's going to have to start busting out balls, maybe get down on the four and break them up. Yeah, this is, this is uh, 
But I like your thought process here, shooting the five and the seven. You know what he can do here? If he shoots a, no, it won't go by there. Never mind. I thought the, I thought the six might slide in behind that ball, but it won't. I mean, it's it sounds far fetched, but if he shoots a five and the seven, keeps an angle on the two where he can come down for the four, then he can definitely get up yeah. into them balls and break them up. But it's a little risky. I'm telling you, sometimes when the ball's like this, if he did get down there and he goes in those balls, you got to hit him pretty hard. Right, exactly. You gotta, yeah, you exactly. Like, you got to move him around. Well, you and I both agree on that. <laughs> you don't just go slow into those balls and try to bunt them out. Try to, you got to rearrange the furniture. Yeah, and just try to make one. Like, wow, look at this. He made both balls on one shot. Now he's got the four ball, and you know what? He may be rearranging the furniture here. Let's see what he Who does. came up with that term? I like that term. Me. That was you? No, no, I spent I spent a hundred years ago. Yeah, rear, no, I think I heard Ronnie say it actually. Yeah, probably. But I've been using it for my whole life. Boy, Ronnie and Keith, they were two good ones. They had a lot of original lines, both of them. They were two of a kind. There's what I said, but he hit it bad. Well, but he just it well, just didn't work right, and he he never moved the one ball. That's the one buried behind yeah, the he, nine. He just didn't hit it right. Yeah. This might be a rack where he's going to be forced to play safe. Well, right now he's probably price-wise. He's an underdog. At least three to one underdog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. He's an underdog here. I mean, he could bank this seven ball, six ball cross side, and shoot the two. But what's he going to do with the one he's ball? He's just dead, Jay. If he wins this game, it'll be a miracle, in my opinion. You don't think there's any place he could play safe here? I don't think anywhere that he can that that a return a return safety is going to just keep him yeah, trapped. Yeah. Well, now he's looking at shooting the two and coming across table and breaking the one. No, no I don't know here. I just don't know. I think the two is too close to the to the side. Maybe I can't. Well, tell. he tried to break him like we said. He didn't hit him soft, but it just didn't work. He didn't hit him from the right spot. He wanted that one to be out in the open. Got my ladies. Running, running, liquor runs for me. She's getting you a beer, right? Yep. Uh, she keep telling me I ain't supposed to be. For after the match. Why? Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was gonna do that one tar match, and I was joking about having a drink. Man, I got so much. People thought I was, you know, like drunk. What's so bad about drinking a beer? Come on. Well, you, this is uh, 2015. You know isn't how it? the sweaters are. I don't know. What, well, I mean, he, he could conceivably bank this ball cross side, but why? And what's a good? What good is it going to do him? If, you know, if the get on the was, two. If the two is down the rail. He could shoot the two and go across table and bust out the one, but it looks like the two is too close to the pocket. Boy, he's really loading up on this shot. See that? Oh. You know what he wanted to do there? He spin wanted to behind. spin down. The, that would have been a spectacular oh, shot, yeah. but. That's a little that bit was of, weird how that worked. He hit that a, was he, weird. Well, if he catches that ball, he's. Yeah. I like seeing what would that. Yeah, because because the English would have if it hits the rail, it's going to take oh, it down into that. Off, yeah. yeah, yeah. Boy, that was something. Boy, he really rifled that bank in. He did. He hit that one in at warp speed. Well, it just goes to show Dennis doesn't want to play a safe. He wants to. He wants to find a way to get out. Here she comes. Well, Mike should be able to complete this rack with no trouble now and get back in the lead. Dennis has led the last few games. There hasn't been more than one game separating him since uh, since Dennis caught up at four to four. Yeah. Ah, I see. You're a Heineken guy, yeah. kind of guy. I hope they're playing a race to thirty now, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Get on that Heineken train. <laughs> I'm on that Heineken train. Yeah, yeah, you are. And I'm in Las Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, you live in a good spot. You're going to see more of me over here in the future. Um, I'm I got, excited, I got a, I'm I got excited that you moved here. We can hang yeah, out and come yeah. up. Well, I'll be, when there's big poker tournaments, like at the Bellagio uh -huh. uh, and win, I'm going to come to some of them. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm kind of in stroke playing that poker now. My pool career is behind me. My poker career is ahead. I love it. <laughs> Mike's going to get this rack, and he's going to take the lead again, Bobby. He hasn't been in the lead in a while. It's funny how you know you're doing something like this, and you're a little bit antsy, and all of a sudden somebody gets you a drink, and you just feel so much more relaxed. Yeah, you know especially when a pretty girl brings you it a drink. It is. Huh? A nice lady. Yeah, a nice lady. And I'm just happy as can be right now. You must be a nice guy. You ain't like me. I'm an outlaw. You're a gangster. <laughs> that sounds good. I like the sound of yeah. that. That's what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a gangster when I grow up. <laughs> I want to be just like you. Are you older than me? Maybe like one year? I'm older than you. You're a baby, man. You're a baby. I'm 102. <laughs> I, might well, can just I, might shoot shoot I might shoot the nine here. I'm going Yeah, right. Rails. Go three rails. I'm get get shape. It's just all speed. It's there just you. all speed. And, I mean, the 11's really out in the open. Yeah, he can hardly mess this up. Uh-oh. He's good. Get well, he rail. went. Get off the rail. Uh, he, he, he went this oh, way good. to shoot it in the corner, but shoot and stop. He's good. I, look at the way he brushes that man. He really puts that chalk on. It bugs me the way he chalks his cue. He got he holds the end of his tip. Yeah, yeah, but 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 the thing is, he, he he's a lesson in point for case in point for really making sure you got chalk on your cue. You ever notice how he holds his mouth when when he shoots? Watch. I, I didn't really notice. Yeah, that. like close. Watch, see look. Close your mouth. See how it <laughs> Look, see? Nice out. Mike DeShane is in the lead, 8-7. to seven. We got a real battle here for oh, this title. Man, is this good or what? Yeah, this is a classic match here. John Landon is out there having a conversation with Mike about something. John's a good guy, but he runs a pretty tight ship with these players. Yeah, he don't mess around. Makey breaky. Makey <laughs> breaky. <laughs> you like that long blonde hair? Yeah. Are you jealous? Oh, he's Not taking Mike. a break. He's taking. He's, Mike's taking a quick break here. All right, we got a little timeout. Mike's running to the restroom, and it's a little. We probably got five minutes here.
The coming to Las Vegas soon, the Moscone Cup, Tropicana, December 7th through 10th. If you want to see it, you better get your tickets now. I'll tell you what, they'll be sold out. I heard they got seating for 1,000 people, though. The uh, video, the, the match is on in the room with the commentary. Oh, the, that's the good. I'm glad. The sound is on, yeah. The sound's not on? The sound is on, yeah. Oh, okay, good. I mean, if the sound's not on, just don't bother to watch it. No, the sound <laughs> You've got to hear us. You've got to hear oh, Jay yeah. and Bobby doing our thing. <laughs> I got a feeling. I got a funny feeling we're going to be doing more of this, Bobby. It's fun. I'm having it. I'm we, dying we, to play, we, though. We could never run out of stories. I'm telling no. you that. If they don't run out of pool matches, we won't run out of stories. Uh -huh. That's our promise. My friend Kelly Isaac is the one just texting me and told me that was going on. That's good. I'm glad. She plays good. You know, she won that eight ball and nine ball bowl. Yeah, yeah. She's, there's, she a, there's, a, there's actually a lot of good young women that are playing now. I, it, it, you know, it got so big in China, and, and the girls see there's big money to be won. But you go, you go over there and challenge those Chinese women, you better be a hell of a player. That's all I got to well, say. Look at this break. He made a whole bunch of balls again. Right. Made four balls again. That's strong, man. He broke them solid. I tell you something, these ball, I, I'm shooting the solids today. What about you? I'm shooting. Yeah, you got to shoot the solids. Well, yeah, I guess so. Now that yeah. I look, I guess you got to. You should, because he can leave. You know what? The key ball here is a two. You know what I mean? When you make four balls like this, and there's, the table looks very empty. <laughs> yeah. The key ball is a two. He'll probably shoot the. F well, you'll see the two, then the eight. Well, that's you got to get that. You got to get on the one side of that five. That's for sure. It goes. I believe it goes on the side, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. Well, if it does, he might be shooting it now. The three. Let's see. Yeah, maybe the five does go by. Yeah. It looked like Dennis was going to really grab control of this match, but Mike has got a lot of fight back in him. This is another guy that's not afraid to win. Give him a chance, and he will win. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the five goes. Okay. This would be huge for him to take a two-game lead at this juncture. Yeah. Maybe the five. Oh, what he's looking at. He's looking to see if the five goes. He, I mean. Just, just shoot the five yeah. and draw back and shoot the. No, he's going down and coming back. Maybe. He is. He went, he went a long ways, but yeah. he's okay. He's okay. Basically, yeah, just shoot, shoot the one and draw back. Yeah, yeah, just bring it back about six inches to a foot and you'll be fine. I don't know. He wants Somebody. the rack rim. What's the, now what's the matter? Uh, somebody's talking while he's shooting. He didn't like that. He's yeah. used to playing in the library. Yeah. Is what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> easy, Bob. Easy, easy. I can't help it. These guys, I can't help it. I don't have any. You got no patience for no. that stuff. Can't yeah. breathe. You can't eat a potato chip. You can't. Hey, he's, listen, he's been, he's been on his best behavior this match, so I'm going to cut him a little slack. He has. Because we've we've seen the temperamental side of Mike DeShane before, and it's not pretty. No, he's been a good boy. Well, this is, I'll tell you what, this he needs to be like this, keep a calm disposition if he wants to win tournaments, especially playing great players like Dennis Arculio. Yeah. I mean, this is a big scalp. If he can win this tournament, it, it's not just winning, but beating Dennis Arculio in the finals. Yeah. That's, that's you got some bragging points there. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't won yet, but 9-7. Boy, he's closing Reed. in. He's closing Dennis in. Dennis has to get out from here from the break. Yeah. Or else, or else yeah. what's his name's on the hill breaking. Yeah. There's John checking out the rack. Yeah, he's the, he, he got word that Dennis was. Now what's he doing? I don't know. He's, ma he's making a look at it. Yeah, but. Yeah, Dennis is not too happy right now. 
he, and he is especially unhappy that John is examining his rack. Now it's on. You know, really, since John started looking at the rack, uh, the yeah, uh, tempo, yeah. the, the momentum of the match has shifted to Mike. Yeah. If Dennis, if Dennis loses this match, look, look well, I'm going to get to hear about John, the oh, tournament yeah, director. Look, 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 he's really looking at it. Look. Yeah, he's really. I'd make him re rack <laughs> I'd make him re rack John Lehman just became Dennis's enemy. Oh, yeah. Enemy for the day. But I'll tell you, Dennis, there's going to be a lot of tournaments you play in where John is going to be your tournament director. He's damn good. You know what I used to do to aggravate some of my opponents sometimes if I didn't like them? When we, when we were playing like. Ooh, boy, he's lucky. Last ball rolling went in. You know, we were playing loser racks, you know? Yeah, yeah. And if they give me a bad rack, I wouldn't say anything. I'd just take my tip and push through the ball. <laughs> you did that? Oh, my God. God. You're, you you're know what I'm saying? I'd yeah. take my tip just push through the balls. I've and, seen people do that. And make them re rack them. Yeah. Well, if they're putting a move on me, I did yeah. that. Like, like, I don't like your rack. Yeah, I just push through the balls. <laughs> you're tough, man. You're tough action. I'm glad I never had no problem with you. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was, I was, I could be tough action at my pool room, you know. I didn't, I didn't want anybody messing with me. Not on my home court. Anyway, the funniest thing you've ever seen. I got to tell this. Talking about the rack. Solids, right? Is well, he gonna, he's, he's taking the stripes. Is he? Yeah, see, he's no. solid. Sure, he's shooting. He's well, shooting. listen, Ryan, yeah. with that with that tournament at the Disneyland Hotel, right? So Ronnie Allen's playing Morrow. Morrow's racking the balls. I mean, Ronnie's racking the balls, and Morrow says, "The one ball's not froze." He said, "I don't care about nothing else, but you got to freeze the one." So Ronnie racks the balls, <laughs> freezes the one through like the first six, yeah. and puts the bottom three on the rail. <laughs> you okay with that? Yeah. yeah. He says there. How's that? I got some good Moro stories, but they're going to have to wait for another mm -hmm. tournament and another night. Well, he's out from here. Remember they called Moro the Mexican jumping bean because mm -hmm. he was up and down, up and down, up and down before he shot. Huge rack for Dennis Herculio. Huge. Must win. Must, well, uh -oh. He definitely doesn't want to let. If he got on top of that ball, he would. Yeah. He can't, he can't let Mike get on the hill right now. Mike is all ears and all eyes. He's watching everything. He's watching everything. He's even up in his chair. Well, big game here, Dennis won. He pulls back within one game. Now, now if Mike breaks and runs out, who broke then? Mike, I mean Dennis. It's Mike's break. Yeah, yeah, it's Mike's break. Uh, yeah, because Dennis broke first. He breaks on the even games. On the odd games, Mike breaks. This turned out to be a heck of a match here, I'll tell you. These guys are battling for this trophy and the 11 grand that goes with it. Two great players. I had the best lunch today at that place called Go Raw. Where is that? There's one. There's two. There's one on the corner of... Oh, it's not in the hotel here. No, no, it's oh, at okay. a restaurant. I like the Hash House of Go Go. That's my favorite here That's in this good. hotel. But this Go Raw place, you won't believe how good the food is. Where is it? Tell me. There's one on Eastern and Windmill. Hey, what's the place by where I live? It's called the Bear Inn or Bear Mountain. You know that one? Oh, it's got great food. They, they That's the greatest. Black Bear. Black Bear. That's it. By by the Smith's Food King there at best, Tropicana and Jones. I live ever. right by there. That's. It places packed every day. Listen, and they treat you like country, and there you go yeah, in there, and the owners yeah. always, I've eaten there a thousand the times. The Black Bear. Yeah. Great restaurant. Yeah. Kelly I don't, bought my I don't, care, I don't care so much about the expensive, you know, high nah. end. I, give me a good meal at a good price, and I'm a happy guy. They got breakfast there for like eight, seven dollars, man. It's like awesome. Yeah. The biscuit's big as your head. Not as big as Mike's head, though. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. Mike, forgive me, please. If it, please, if anybody tells him I said that. His head would be the perfect size if he's like 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's not get off there, please. No, he's, he, please. Don't, he jokes about his own head. Yeah, well, that's okay. He's got a big brain. Yeah. 
Look at this. He don't. He's only got one ball he can shoot here, Jay. He had the 13 all the way down here in the corner. What choice has he got? I mean, he, he really made a good break, but we see this so often as the cue ball ends up at the top rail. And if you don't have a ball down there by the cue ball, you got problems. I don't know what he's going to do here. I think he, I think he just got to go rail first and get out in the center of the table. And just work from there. Is he thinking safety? Well, no, surely not. I mean, not. he could shoot that three in the side. I think the three will go in the side pocket. You hate to start off with a shot that tough. You know, because if he shoots this three and misses, he could, Dennis could get out on him. Well, the pressure's on right now. Let's see what Mike is made of. These are, these are the games and the shots that win championships. He made it. And he can see the one. Good shot. But the only thing he's going to shoot after this is the four. That's it. Tough Let's rack here. Tough rack. It's a huge rack. If Mike can find a way to get out here and get on the hill. Yeah, the four boy, nice camera work there. Thank you, John Baker. He's our cameraman on this side. Johnny B. Johnny B. He's done a great job for us. All the crews, CSI events crew, has done a great job. He did the same thing Dennis did a couple games ago. Made a big shot and drew the cue ball right back into the pocket. He's, he's a little sick. That's the. That's about as exasperated as we've seen Mike in this match. Looks good for Dennis now. He's shooting, <laughs> yeah, he's, got, he's shooting the 12 here. Yeah, well, get that 12 ball first. first Come on, yeah. get that out of the way. you got to shoot that first. I, I mean, I don't understand how you could shoot anything else. And he will. Wait a second. No, he won't. Well, you know what? This is good because if he splits those balls, yeah. the 12 goes into the corner and the nines is the oh, nine okay. balls. I see. Because the nines is yeah, safety valve. Watch, the, watch. The, 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 he, he does this way. He opens up he's the not nine. Gonna, he's not going to hit it hard. Watch. He's roll up yeah. into it. Watch. Just like that. Perfect. Yeah, right in front of the side pocket. The nines, the nines is safety valve. Boy, wouldn't that be something if this match goes hill hill and it's kind of looking like it right now. Looking like it might. I think they should start over. Remember we used to do that? We'd be playing race to 11 and get 10-10 and they said start over. I know. <laughs> but you know something? I've yeah. played a jillion money matches and I've never done that. I have. Have you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, never I'm, have. Not, I'm not. I well, never. I mean, I, basically, you, both players have to agree. Oh, you know why I have it? Why? It's because back in the day when I was traveling, nobody played races. You, there's no yeah, always ahead. We played five never. ahead, five ahead, or you, ten ahead for a big match. Nobody ever played. I've never That's played. right. That's right. Ever. You're right. Nobody ever. The only played time you played race was in a tournament. That's right. I've never gambled years ago in a race ever. It was always yeah. ten ahead, eight ahead, ten ahead. Bobby, I probably played five ahead for fifty, <laughs> five hundred times. Yeah, that was my game. <laughs> you know, but fifty was money back then. Fifty, yeah. fifty, forty years ago was like five hundred today. When you and I played at the time, we were betting pretty decent. I can't remember what it was, but we weren't playing too cheap. Uh, probably 40, 40 a game was my standard one pocket game. Yeah. Now which that was, was a, a that was a good bet then. That was in 1970. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, well, we were both 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were playing for 40 cents a game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Dennis, you got to get out here, buddy. We need you to tie this he's, match up. He's shooting. I like this. I don't know about you, Bobby. I'm a little tired, but I want to see Hill Hill. I want to oh, see Oh, I do Hill. too. Oh, my God. I love it. I love to see how guys handle the pressure. But I'll tell you what, Dennis plays real good under pressure. I've seen him. I've seen him in the heat many times, and he comes through. Yeah.
course, he's in the heat of this one right now. He's in the thick of it. And he's, yeah. He must get out here. He must get out. He's going to try to get back on the on this 15 next. He's good with the bridge. But most of the Filipino players are very comfortable with the bridge. I don't know he if you've come, noticed that. They come handle way short here, buddy. That was not good. He's trying to. Well, he's, this is a hanger. You know? Yeah, you make it sound bad, but this ain't so bad. No, nah, you just get used to seeing these kind of, you know, you got to remember yeah. it's still a seven foot table. That's not too tough of a shot. Yeah. He'll draw back about six inches like that. And we're going to have a tie ball game, nine to nine. Who's going to get to the hill first? <laughs> Dennis is breaking. And, and John's coming out to watch him rack. John is really on his case now. I'll look at him. Yeah. You like country music, Jay? Not so much, but more now than I ever did. I, I mean, like if it's good music. Yeah, I like the older country music better, but it's still good. As long as they're not too twangy. No, that's a good part. What are you talking about? Well, there, I think that there's the best country musicians today. I like some of the modern ones. They're not even country. They got the electric guitars and doing all that. They're not even country. All are you right, kidding I'm sorry. me? I'm sorry. I take it all back. Listen, music's gone so sideways in the last 20 years with all the rap music I and know. the heavy care. metal stuff. I just don't care for that. I can't deal with I still, it. I still like the, the, the classics. Yeah, me too. I mean, there, I mean, there's been so many great songs made the last 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Great music. I heard one on the radio driving over here today. Leave a tender moment alone. Remember that song? <laughs> you know that song? Do you remember that? Song? <laughs> no. <laughs> Leave a tender well, moment alone. You, 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 listen. Just go it? on your computer and put in that and and listen to that song. It's it's a. You, I know a lot of people out here listen know that song. I'm not going to try to sing because I can't sing, but it's. Most beautiful song. Most I'll probably, beautiful. I probably heard it. Well, you heard it a hundred times. <laughs> you heard it a hundred times. <laughs> you're going to hear it one more tonight now because you're going to look it up. I'm going to check it out. You know, you, listen, all you guys out there, you check, you check that song out and tell me if it ain't a great song. Well, ball down. He made the corner ball. He's he, not. He's oh, he just waved because he wants John to take that rack away. Let's see if there's a ball tied up by the one. Yep. I think, hold on, John, John gets away. This is kind of a mess. Well, that's his job, to decipher this mess. I believe he's got to take the solids. Shoot the two in the side. Mm -hmm. Or the four, if it goes by the nine. He could shoot the three, but you got to jack up over the, over the four ball. Now he's looking at the four. Now he's taking a good long look at the four. The one is the problem ball, as you can see. He's going to try to break that out somehow. That's what he's staring at. Look at that beard on DeShane, man. His whole face is covered in hair. It's, it's, it's grown today. I know. He shaved, he shaved this morning. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Oh, he's taking stripes. I'm surprised. Frankly, I am surprised he's taking stripes. Steve said we're talking neither too loud. Okay. Oh, it's you. It's not me. <laughs> I told you this about time we get we get in trouble. Yeah, I know. We gotta be real careful. We're getting, we're getting a little. Well, nine to nine. It's a race to two for the dough. The reason he took this is because of the one ball blocking that, what is it, the four, the 15, yeah. Oh he boy. opened it up no, a little bit. It, it won't go in that pocket. He's got to shoot that over where it's same place he's shooting the nine now. I don't even know if he can. You think he's going to bank it next? He you know, the, the, this is this is the beauty of eight ball is you've got a puzzle you've got to solve every rack. I think he might draw back and just nudge the four and then bank the, bank the 15 across the corner. Let's see. It's not a hard bank. I mean. Yeah, but do you want to bank now? Yeah, and at this critical point in the match? 
So oh, no, look. Oh, he so he drew behind oh, it. He, yeah, sure. It. You called it. He's good. He wanted to draw back and get behind it. I didn't know he could get there from there. Come on. This is Dennis Arcullo. He, hit he can nice. do anything. Well, he did then. <laughs> He's out here, buddy. Well, that's what I thought that's what he was going to shoot, too. He's shooting the 11 next, probably, or the 11th going next. He's got a chance to get to the hill first. He's made yeah. all the hard shots. He's going to be breaking on the hill if Mike don't get out. Big crowd here, and they got awful silent. They got awful quiet. He's going to go around the eight ball and shoot that ball on the side, I believe. Yeah, he's like going to take a look at it. Got to play good speed he's control got a, here. He's got a good. He's got a big gap to get there too. Yeah, yeah. He's going to go two rails. He'll go into that between them two diamonds. You guys are watching real pool here, played by experts. Just like this, look in between the two diamonds. Yes, sir. A little easy, but he's good. Uh oh, he's got to hope he doesn't hit the four, Jay. Does he need to go down in the end rail, I or can he so. slow roll I the think, ball? I think he's too. Yeah, he just too. he just kind of rubbed his head like he was not real happy. Like you said, he's got a big gap, but still, he wanted to be a little bit higher, like six inches higher. Would be, yeah, he's not happy you know, with this. If but he, and if he goes two rails, the other ball's blocking him. The two. Well, he's going to have to. Ooh, what's he doing here? He's, he's tr you know what? I, I like going two rails and coming up even if you bump the two, hit it hard. And, ooh, is he shooting this in the end? No, That's he can't be not, doing that. He I can't do that. I think he's going to shoot the 14, hit the he's, rail, and come straight up. Yeah, yeah, he wants to hit just past the four ball. And just past the up, four ball. Straight up. Don't hit the four. God, this ain't easy here. Look at oh, this. He, Look at this. He hit the four, but... He's, he can, he's got a good shot at the eight, but not Boy, exactly where he wanted to be. He didn't waste any time. Look at this. He got right down on it, Bobby. He didn't even take a look at the eight ball. He just got right down on it and swished it. Dennis Arcullo is on the hill. That wasn't an easy shot on the eight. No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it was not. Well... <laughs> I think, oh, there you go. You got it right, 10. 10 to 9. Mike DeShane to break if he can break and run out. I hope he breaks and runs out. Don't you? I do. I want to see him. He'll, he'll. And then they'll probably get into a safety battle. We'll get out here at 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> nice out by Dennis Herculia. It there. was. Yep. He's made a heck of a comeback if he wins this tournament, you know. He's won like eight matches in a row. I told you about the people up there that were just that guy that got hit in the head. Yeah. All the people, guess who they're all friends with? All of them. Kenny Dodd. Arteza Kenny. Who's all, who's all friends with him? All, all these people, people sitting up in the stands. They all, yeah. they all know, they're all from Portland. I know, I know Kenny a long, long time. Him and I made a lot of money together. We booked like never booked a loser. Yeah, Arteza Kenny. You didn't come with him to my pool room. You know he played me 75 a game short rack bank like 40 years ago, over 40 years ago? You know, he looked like he didn't play that good, but he played pretty good. Yeah, well, he didn't play good enough playing that No, nah, he can't beat you playing banks. Oh, wait, he liked, did you know he liked bank look pool? This. Look at this, look at this. Oh, he almost scrapped. You know he liked to play bank pool. You know that. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, he loved to play bank You didn't know that? Look at this, look at this. If this, if this 15 goes, it's over. He almost scratched. Look at this. It looked he's like shoot. the cue ball was going. If this 15 goes, he's all, it's gone. I mean, the 14 sit. Does he, he really want to shoot that ball oh, all the way yeah. up in the corner? Yeah. I would. I wouldn't take, yeah. Because the solids are real easy. I know, but the four is jammed, and it's hard to get on the four. I believe he's going to shoot the 14 if he can well, hit he's, it. He's going to give it a lot of thought, I'll tell you. Look. If he can shoot it. He's, he's looking at it like it's a little bit tough. Boy, you don't want to make a mistake here, Bobby. You don't want to mis make a mistake no. here. I think he can. It's make not it. that easy. I'm telling you, it's not that easy. Yeah, sure, it's great. He's, that. No, he, yeah, see that seven ball. That seven ball's got him a little bit snookered. He might shoot the eleven. He's got to come with a good opening shot. Look at Mike. He ain't happy. 
He's got to come with a good opening shot here. Look at how many people we got watching. A lot. It's the biggest crowd we've had all week. He wants to shoot that. Does he wants to shoot that? Ooh, Ooh boy. Oh. Risky, risky. I'm, shooting, I'm telling you, I'm shooting that ball by the pocket. I'm making sure I make the first ball. Yeah. I, well, yeah, I guess. If he can hit, he's, he's close he's, to being hooked, though. Yeah, exactly. That's why he's not shooting it. I don't he like wants. Taking. He really wants the stripes, but he's a little bit concerned. Yeah. I mean, listen, if he tries to shoot this eleven in the side, it's it ain't an easy. It's a missable shot. Let's oh, yeah. just say that. That's not an easy. Here we go. Here we go. This is for all the cheese he just, right here. He just wants to make the first ball. Oh, now he's. This can work. He got. He just got to worry about the four. What if he makes them both? Would have been nice. Will the four go past those balls? Uh, it'll it go in the might. right. It'll go in the bottom right corner. What about the bottom left corner? No. All right. And he's got. Mean? He's got to do some stuff here. He's got to do something. The four ball will be the key ball of this rack. Everything else is out in the open. One rack. For all the marbles here. Don't tell me he's gonna shoot the two and go on these balls. I don't like that. That can be that can be disastrous. Well that's you know what, what it, that's no, his you know plan. Yeah. Watch. He's gonna go behind it and bump that ball yeah. out of the way. Well that's watch. what he wants to but this is this is it. Just bump it. If he bumps this out of the way, it's over. The rack's on the line here. Bump that fifteen right in the back of the head, just like this. Oh yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mike. He knows, look. What, who just shook their fist like that? Was that Mike or Dennis? Somebody just waved their, I guess that was Dennis. He waved his hand. At what? I mean, you know, like he was glad. You know, like a golfer when they make a putt, how they shake their hand or wave their fist. That was it. That was it. And the eight goes in the pocket, too. Look, it goes, right, it goes off the nine anyway. Yeah, that's it. It's a hang, it's easy well, he's got other he's got other pockets for the yep. eight if he needs just them. in case. Dennis can smell it right now. I know Dennis. He can smell the end. The five is the only thing that's. It go, he it wants go, to shoot yeah. it right now. It goes, yeah. He's closing it out. He's closing out this match. Just he wants to get he want to get close to that eight ball. You don't want to be shooting that eight from a distance. He's going two rails at it. Yep. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. He wants to come. He'd okay. like to be the have the cue ball right in the middle of the table. I think you it know, goes right. right. It goes. Yeah, right sure. There. He's well, like you said, he could touch the nine and yeah. it goes in. Little top right hits the diamond. Unless he's going two rails in the other corner. He's going two he rails. He is. He's going the other way. Don't do something funny. Boy, he almost did something funny there. Well, he got a little bit tougher. He got on the rail. But notice, Dennis ain't wasting any time. He didn't waste a second. We got a champion. Dennis Arcullo is the 2015 U.S. Open 8-ball champion. Great run to the loser side. Nice applause. Stay tuned. We're going to interview both players. Hey, Dennis, you are the 2015 U.S. 9-ball, 8-ball, excuse me, 8-ball champion. Yeah, I'm uh, thanks. Thanks, God, yeah, you know. 
uh, yeah, it's nice blessings, you know. I play I play hard and really tough to win this tournament. A lot of good players, 87, but 87 players, you know. And I came from the loser side, unex unexpected, you know. And I'm glad I, I came to the final and then win this tournament. I'm so thankful. One more champion, U.S. Open 8-ball champion. How's that sound? Good? <laughs> Sounds good because, uh, you know, last year no, I'm not doing good uh, last year. And this year, well, I, I won uh, one event. And How about that final match with Mike DeShane? That was tough, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike, he broke good and he he got two dry breaks. So that's my advantage right there. And then I, m I make a ball every time. He played good. He played great, you know, never give up. And, and the last break. He's the, la the last break is uh, dry break, you know, so it's my opportunity to win the match. And so it's it's tough layout right there, but uh, I, I I make up my mind to, you know, to run out of the rack. Yeah, that was a tough layout. You had to break that four ball out. Yeah, I saw the layout uh, supposed to be. I might, I picked the stripe because, you know, the stripe the easy, but only I got shot the 11 ball right here on the side but a little bit you know tricky so I feel uncomfortable that uh, that position so I take the solid so I think I have opportunity the two ball over there to break the 14 ball so that's gonna happen Dennis you're the champion again <laughs> yeah uh, thank you of course I'd like to thank our sponsor uh, of course all the people here uh, thank you for being here sports to PS CSI Thank you so much, uh, all the sponsors, uh, Tiger Products, uh, my sponsor in the Philippines, Bugsy Promotion. Thank you, and also you, Jay, Father. <laughs> thank you for you always. Okay. I'm proud of you, Dennis. Yeah. Listen, thanks everybody. It's a great tournament, and we'll see you next year. Ah, trophies. John, come on out. Ozzy, come on out here. Ozzy Reynolds. He's going to make the presentation. Come on, Mike. Well, first of all, Mike, great job. Thank great you. tournament. Thank you. That was your only loss. Very close match. And uh, you should be proud to be the runner up U.S. Open 8 Ball Championship. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Applause, everybody. <laughs> Dennis, what a comeback great job I, I, I'm not really uh, expect to beat Mike you know because I was see I see him I was seeing him in the first day two days you know he played very good he broke very good you know but it's, yeah I mean I, I, I think I'm uh, I'm really lucky in the final so well I don't know about luck but that was a great job you grind it all the way back yeah. from the one loss side yeah. hold it high be yeah. proud you're the 2015 US Open eight ball championship let's give him a round of applause everybody yeah.